good. Yo, yo, yo what's up, the stud talk? <laughs> you want me to No, don't leave it, leave it, leave it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up to another episode of Stud Talk? I'm Bree. I'm Vinay. And yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm keep it rolling. You know we do it for us. Shout out to Melanin Edge, but we also meet in Bree. We do it for Stud. There it go right there. All y'all studs out there, we looking good, we feeling good. And today we are gonna talk about what it means and what we want out of a relationship. Yeah. You feel me? Because it's important yeah. to tell the people in case they want to f*** on us. Right, right. The I person. mean, not right, not right. <laughs> <laughs> not right. Right for me, though. What we want out of a relationship? Because I ain't going to f*** if we ain't in a relationship. That's crazy. Shout out to my mama. I love you. Lots. All right, but before we get started, I want y'all to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know you f*** with us the way we f*** with y'all. And now let's get into it, Bri. You, you lead us off. How we doing? All right, so personally, what I look for in a relationship is kind of just somebody that you have, like, a genuine connection with. I mean, that's I think that's so a basis. Important. You know, you can't just go with somebody just because you think they look oh, good beautiful. or whatever. You know, if y'all don't got a connection, that ain't going to work at all. Let me ask you a question real quick. So do you feel like you can date a girl when y'all have a strong connection, but she's not as physically attractive to you? Yeah, I mean... I ain't even gonna hold you. We might be friends, oh, but it's. <laughs> but if I'm like, I gotta. I, I don't know. I don't know because I think attraction is just like that's the first thing that you look out for somebody. You know what yeah. I mean? Like that's the first thing you see in real life. A lot of people like to lie about that, but you see attraction first. You know, yeah. that's how you know you might be interested in somebody is attraction. But I feel like what makes that attraction more appealing is if they got like an actual good head on their shoulders, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, good, having a good head on your shoulders is important. Yeah, yeah, exactly. For sure. <laughs> what about you? Yo, what you looking for? For me, I'm definitely looking for somebody that is like, knows how to switch up because I get bored very easily. So that's number one, like, the initial connection, of course, the genuine connection needs to be cool. Um, I, I need to know that like, there's different that you're into because I'm trying to build a legacy. So is I'm really not one of those people that's like trying to play games or like, I'm not like, it sounds so corny, but I'm not like other people in the sense of like, I'm trying to play around. I really want to just dive into it. And sometimes for shorties, that's a bit too intense. And I get mm -hmm. it. That's why you rarely see me in relationships. Because mm -hmm. when I'm in it, I'm in it. I'm swimming. Yeah, and that's what that's just where communication comes in. Like, what's the intentions yeah. with y'all relationship? You know what? What's the like the basis and how, how far do y'all plan on getting with each other? But that comes with time as well. You can't just... Hop out the gate, first date, talk about, yeah, so where do you see us in three years type shit, you know? Five Bro, years. When I have a crush on a girl, I do picture, like, future shit all the time. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it really f***s me up when I get to know the girl, and it's like, yeah, you're not really what I imagine you to be. Plus, like, you have to take into account all of their friends and all of their family and all the baggage they might have. Right. That really, like, once I get to know somebody past my imagination of how we could be, it really throws shit off of me. Mm -hmm. I really have to say adios for real. I could feel that, but I think personally, I, I tend to like separate the individual from their family only because we're not always um, a product of our environment in a sense, if you know what I mean. Like, I feel like if people are like, um, I don't know, if they're able to identify the flaws within their family, then they know how to change that for them, you know what I mean? Yeah. So a lot of times you might see people and you think they're cool and all that and then you meet their family and it was just like, why the fuck are they so fucking like, why are they like this? Why are they rude as yeah. fuck? You know what I mean? Like, why are they, why do they? And some people are good at identifying it. Other people really like go hard for their family, you know? Like, I'm one being of them. Like, I'm one of them. Yeah, go hard for your family. I mean, you know, that's love, that's blood, but it's like, you should be able to identify somebody's wrongs, regardless of blood or not. You know what I mean? So yeah. I feel like separating that just makes more sense for me. You know? If that makes sense. Yeah, no, that definitely makes sense. Like, for me personally, if my mom doesn't like you, I cannot date you like that. Like, I know a lot of people might disagree, but mm -hmm. my mom is my world, whether she wants to believe it or not. I love you, mom. I feel the same I way. I cannot though. fuck with you if my mom does. Because my mom has great instinct, like, and she's taught me to have a good instinct. So that's another reason why I'm not in a lot of relationships, period. Anyway, like, my soul don't really gravitate to you. So it's like, my mom say, hey, something off of her? Can't fuck with you. Yeah, I feel that. Like, because I could say, like, um, from 
past relationships versus like a current relationship that I have. And I was gonna be like, oh, it might be just like the way they accept, like the time span that they accepted me. But even before, when I was just like hanging around with like a girl or whatever, and we wasn't really into, we wasn't technically into it, yeah. but we was hanging around and she'll come over and whatever. My people will fuck with her, like she's cool or whatever. And then I got into another relationship and it was kind of like, right, what's up with her? Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm. they talk about it, that. It kills the vibe, right? Exactly. Yeah. But like, yeah, with my current relationship that I'm in now, like, my mom really do fuck with her. Like, like they be just sitting there. I be at work or whatever. Mind you, I work like 12, 10, 10 to 12 hour shifts. They be out there just chilling, talking, watching Yo. movies. She over there doing my mom hair and shit. Like, they really be chilling. And I really bro, fuck with that. Shout and out to y'all, bro. Because I've seen that. Like, you know, I went over to Bree's house for Thanksgiving. And to see that interaction, it's like, bro, I yearn for that. Like, that's amazing, bro. Like, yeah. I can see what you're saying. Right. Fucking amazing. Like, yeah, shout yeah. out to them. So, yeah, of course, like, the I think, like, depending on the bond that you have with each parent, like, their approval is just going to be something that you want in a relationship that you have, especially if you see that relationship getting any farther than what it's already at. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, facts. Yeah. Like, definitely, like, we understand, like, not everybody out there, like, has the best relationship with their parents. So if you if you say fuck them niggas, I'm 100% with you. I'm right with you. you fuck them me? niggas. We don't fuck with them. We fuck with y'all. Right. right. <laughs> so what's another thing you look for? Another thing I will look for is um, somebody with just some depth in them. Oh, yes. Yeah, like a lot of people are really two-dimensional. So, like, they pretty much have this, they pretty much want you to know the same shit that they put in on social media, you feel me? Like, they want you to know the persona that they want the world to see. They're not really trying to express themselves in a real way with you, you feel me? But you know where that comes from? I feel like that's because, like, not everybody knows themselves to a level that can compete with a person at that time. You and feel that's, me? Like that's completely true, yeah. Yeah, like I really do not like people that post when they're upset on social media. I'm not a big social media buff, so if I'm in a relationship and something goes wrong, would hate to see you posting on social media this, that, and the third, and you you letting all these other studs and femmes and, 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 and niggas like hop into your DMs because yeah, they like, know something's rocky, like, yeah, no. Yeah. And I'm not going to say, like, that really bothered me too much. I feel like it will bother me if they're going into depth on what the situation is that they're going through or whatever y'all have going on in your relationship. Like, I'm going to be real with you. I don't follow my girl on Twitter. She talks too much shit. But I know she's not up there talking about, like, <laughs> I know she's not up there talking about, like, like, you know, directly whatever she's going through or whatever we going through at the time. So that's fine. But, yeah, yeah, I just... Stay away from her social media, cause that's that might start something else, anyways. You know? Yeah, like sometimes. Cause I know you talk about this. Yeah, yeah, like sometimes it's good to like keep away from different aspects. Like I tend not to want to like intertwine a lot of aspects of relationships and shit. So that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. But back to what we look for, what we don't look for. You feel me? I'm looking for somebody that's like got a plan financially. They got a dream. They got a goal. They going for it. Mm -hmm. Goals are very important to me. I feel like. If you don't got no goals for yourself, then what the fuck are you doing? Even if they short term and then maybe you get to the long terms later. But it's like you got to have something that you're planning on doing or you're trying to do or some type of motivation and, you know, driving yourself to be like, yeah, I want better for myself and I'm going to get better for myself. Oh, that me? reminds me. How do we not say this? Hmm. What we look for in a relationship with girls, you have to be black. Uh, you have to be black. I quite literally only date the melanin. Melaninated females. Shout out to Melanin Edge. Shout out to them. <laughs> Might as well plug them in right here. <laughs> Melanin Edge. Shout out to Melanin Edge. No, we um, I prefer black women first on the on the, on the dating list. Like, right. That is off rip. Like if you if you are black. You know what? We yeah. talking so much shit. God gonna make our soulmate a white woman. Oh well, you know you got your but for I me, got bro, my girl, but she felt. Yeah. Me. I've dated a white girl. I'm good. You know what? <laughs> I've had my fair share. That was for a enough. Lifetime. That was enough. Yeah. Yeah. Like, nah. I'm, I'm definitely good. Like, if it is know. my soulmate, I'm gonna look past it. Like, you, I ain't got a soul. You just meant to be What's single. Up? If that's the case, then fuck it. Like, that's it's not even worth it. At no that kizzy. Point. Nah, I'll find somebody. It just, you know, what I'm saying? But, <laughs> it might not be a snow soulmate, but it might be a connection. But on another note, like, I don't think soulmates are singular. I think you have that's multiple right. soulmates in a lifetime. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like, how the fuck do you find? Like, is my soulmate in Florida? I don't think even so, yeah, that's also a bit. Seven billion people in the world, the likelihood that they living right next to you is like very small. But you feel me? It's like, I feel like um, 
soulmates aren't even all, I don't think they're always like romantic. romantic. Exactly. Yeah. I think a soulmate could be like a friend. Like my best friend, I, I'm pretty sure we soulmates. It's a guy. If, if that's not obvious. But yeah. Shout out to guys. Yeah, shout out to the guys. Some of them, child. All of them don't deserve it. Put your shirt back on. <laughs> oh, damn. I'm bleeding out. I'm bleeding out. I ain't even gonna say that for real. Yo. I'm having fun with this shit. This shit fun. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. But yeah, I feel like soulmates don't always have to be romantic. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's just really fine enough for real. It's like that burning love. Y'all ever, uh, you ever seen like that movie Imagine Me and You? No. You gotta watch it. Like, I'm gonna put you on all the, ga- we're gonna talk about all the gay movies, mm-hmm. white and black, because we, we need more rep. We should, do a little episode we should that. definitely, yeah. because we need a lot of representation. And like, I feel like there are, are like a lack of lesbian movies and shows mm-hmm. that truly depict what we go through. Right. But imagine me and you is like really that 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 eyesight like like a girl is getting married and then like the flower person like sees the girl they and it's like literal love at first sight. Like I imagine that's what it means to be finding your soulmate. Like when you touch, it's electric. Mm. So like I really subconsciously wired myself to not settle for anything less. Like I might think a girl is beautiful, I might see her all the time, but like. If my if my shit ain't tingling, it's like, do I really want you for real? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, that could also come with time. Like, you feel me? Like, you might meet somebody, and you might meet somebody, and they not really all that you expected them to be. But over time, you start to see, like, yeah, I really fuck with you, and this might be something better. I fuck with a slow burn, too. Like, I cannot fuck with a shorty or even look a shorty way. Like, she could be in close proximity, and then, like, one day, I'm like, yeah, I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? What's the opposite of a slow burn? So a I'm slow burn is like fast paced, which I've also been like I've experienced that too. Where it's like you see, I see you, I like you, I want it, I got it. Like, yeah. Like. Yeah. And that ends quickly, at least in my experience too, because it's like you go up fast and you fall fast, at least for me. So it's mm-hmm. like I can't really say that I'm a fan of that because I my heart, bruh. I'm not even gonna hold you. A lot of my like actual relationships did happen kind of fast. This one, I feel like. But I think that's what a lot of lesbian relationships, you know, the we whole, move fast. yeah, you know, the whole you haul, the you haul lesbians <laughs> and shit, how they say. But you know what I feel me? Like it's like, even with this relationship, in hindsight, maybe it was kind of fast. But I feel like, I mean, this, oh shit, she might have my head. But I think it's March or April we met, so that would be like a year that we known each other. You feel me? I mean, the fact that like you can move fast all day, regardless of where you met. If you feel like that vibe is genuine, then that's all you got to work with. Like, you make that shit pop because I've been in a three-year relationship and it fizzled out, like, midway, but we were still together because we... I feel that. Yeah, respect. Like, yeah, I, I mean, that. I'm There's also... no respect on my side, but I feel you. This is another thing. I'm looking for stability. We got to do a fast round. Stability. Fine bitches. Big titties. What? Juice. Oh, damn. I was going to say something that's crazy. That's what you're looking for, you say? <laughs> now, I was trying to do a speed round because I know we, you know, production like right? This shit up, you know. But, you know, it's a lot. Like, really, like, I'm a serious person. Um, I work hard. You could ask these niggas. I don't be laughing at their jokes. They not funny for real. I don't fuck with them. I'm screaming. <laughs> I'm joking. I love them all. But, like, nah, I'm a real, like, intense, serious person. So when I love, I love intensely. And I'm not into romance for real. So it's like, if you could bring that romance in, I'm fucking with it. Like, you can make me do shit I wouldn't normally do, like ride a plane. Mm-hmm. Uh, ride some dick. Like, you know, I, we got to be... <laughs> Flag no. on the play. What? Ride some strap. Okay, you know what? You know no, what? no. Please don't take me serious. Yeah. No, I, I mean, to each his own. Some people like that shit. So I'm gonna leave it for that. Y'all can have whatever y'all want. <laughs> but um, yeah, to each his own. Um Most definitely we don't ride strap. Yeah, I'm sorry. No plastic dick over here. <laughs> Yo, um, shout out to Melanin Ed. Shout out to We Do It For Us family. What we look for in a relationship. Let us know what y'all look for in a relationship. I'm trying to tap in with some of y'all. I'm trying to get to know y'all a little bit better. So, you know, let me know. Definitely um, at Just Vene, You know, it's all good. Free Macho, shot by Macho. If but you want also, to tap in for some pictures. Yeah, for some photography, you feel me? Book me, book me. But also, <laughs> Stud of the Week. Stud of the Week. We almost cut that Stud shit out. Of Stud week. of the Week. This week, we're going to shout out T.I. Lee. She's an amazing artist and clothing designer. Y'all can find her on Twitter and Instagram. I'm going to link some of her shit here. Might throw in a little video at this end right here. I say pull out the stick, pull out the stick Sunny to me, go through and pull out the dick Bad enough that I'm fucking me with it And you know me, I cannot be committed as it Get to the run as if it is, baby, I'm about that Gotta scream screaming like Michael Jackson, throw the shot that Bitch, hold on, nigga, why the fuck you all on my dick? Bitch, y'all on me, they know I'm the shit
Hell yeah. And also, bro, I fuck with T. Ali because she fuck with us. I see her in the comments a yeah, little yeah, bit, yeah, little yeah. bit. Shout out to her. 43 T. Ali. We do it for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stud talk. Another week. We'll tap in with you another time. Peace. We do it for us. We do it for us.